beautiful creative people. This is Kyla Givehand, um, and today is actually Wednesday, February 20th. I know I usually do book in a day on Thursday, but I will be traveling this week, so I thought I should do it a day early instead of trying to figure out how to travel and um, create a book. I suspect that somewhere in this year of books, I will need to create books out of town. Uh, so I think I will just wait until that is unavoidable. <laughs> because it was unavoidable today, I thought it would be um, wise of me to go ahead and create a book while I'm home and I have all my materials and I can just go ahead and do something. So it is February 20th. It's 1.56 p.m. in the afternoon. Um, I've actually been up and thinking and working on the book um, for, for part of the morning, I remembered reading about a, or actually I remember watching a video of a flip through of a book that was made using file folders. And that reminded me where I had seen it, and that was on the Cloth Paper Scissors uh, Interweave website. They had these little videos. Um, I think they still have them. I'm, I'm pretty sure they do. I went back and looked at the journal flip uh, today. So they do have them still there. And I'll post a link to that uh, in the bottom here of the YouTube channel. But that inspired me, um, the flip through of that. I said, okay, you know, I could do that. It doesn't um, require me to, you know, well, what it does require is re requires me to uh, do a little something that I haven't done before. It doesn't require it, but I am going to uh, use a sewing machine today. So that should be interesting. So what I'm doing, um, and I don't know if you can tell from this video, but the video camera that I was using, I no longer have. And so I'm actually recording this using an iPad. So we'll see how that translates <laughs> into the world of video. So... Um, I used to, for a very short time, think that I wanted to be a scrapbooker. And I have all of the scrapbooking materials and papers, and I'll show some images of those um, here in the video, some still shots of all my stacks of paper. But I, what I found is that scrapbooking was not my thing. Um, I love paper and I love the idea of using paper for um, expression. But it was just scrapbooking was not the medium for me. So, but I still have all of my stuff from scrapbooking. So, I pulled, I just went, started going through my stash of papers and I started pulling out papers that spoke to me somehow. And so I ended up with, you know, these really sort of fall colors, even this one with the um, fall leaves on it. And it's, it's not fall. Um, it's not even close to being fall. We're actually moving more towards summer. <laughs> um, but this was speaking to me. And so I went ahead and pulled it in. As I was pulling papers and finding ones that really sort of seemed to be shouting out to me, when I got to this one, there's a bunch of different, um, I think these are squash, and it made me think of abundance. And that then led my mind to thinking about um, Thanksgiving, harvest, abundance, being thankful and grateful. And I thought, okay. I, that's something I really want to explore and think about today. Gratitude, the things that I'm grateful for. I feel like we wait until Thanksgiving to really articulate what we're thankful for. And um, I don't think we have to do that. I think we can be grateful and thankful every single day of the year. So I am going to use, I'm, I'm going to allow these sort of colors and papers to inspire me. And I pulled a bunch of different things that are like, you know, in the same color family, just to give myself some variety. I found this one piece of paper that I just adore. It has these crinkles in it, which I just 
love. They're beautiful. So I'm, I'm going to find a way to incorporate that. So that's, that's basically what I did. I just pulled a bunch of papers here, and I don't know which ones I'll actually end up using. Um, but I am going to... I'm just flipping through the pages so you can see all the different patterns that I've pulled. And again, I don't know which one of these I'll end up using, but these are all the ones that were sort of speaking to me. Oh, and this one, this one really, um, it's the, the colors are beautiful and vibrant in this, aren't they? It's um, corn, and they're just multicolored and amazing and beautiful. So um, one of them is so dark purple that it almost looks like pomegranate seeds. I love that. So anyway, these um, are the pictures that are the papers that spoke to me. So I started pulling those. And then one of the things you'll notice if you watch the flip through video for um, this type of book, this file folder book, you'll notice that there are a lot, they're using a lot of tags and cardstock and um, so I have this idea of using, I have all these like little tags that came in these packs, different sizes, um, different colors that I've just, you know, and then I have these little folders, little envelopes that I've just collected over the years. And so I'm thinking that these will show up somehow incorporated into this book. I'm also, um, I think I've mentioned before on, video, on, on one of the books that one of my favorite places to shop and to visit is um, Joann's because they always have something on sale. There's always a $1 bin um, near the scrapbooking materials and I can always find really cute things that I, at the time, have no idea what I'll do with them. But eventually they show themselves in some books. So they had these, these Studio 112 um, tag sheets and they're not thick they're just little pieces of paper but look at some of these um, I mean they just have these gorgeous backgrounds already on them and I really thought okay I might be able to do something with these so they're they're just in a little pad that you can you know rip out as if you know just like they, they're not sticky or anything on the back so and they're very thin so I'm thinking I can adhere these to some pages to give me a decorative space. So we'll see what I'm what I'm going to do. And I have several of these. Like I said, they were I actually think these were 50 cent. And so I just bought several um to give myself some options and they all have different different things on them. So different designs and different um decorations. So I'm looking forward to possibly using those. And then the other thing I have that I'm thinking I might use, um, I have a bunch of different um, washi tapes that I think will probably show up on the edges of these books. Um, and then I have this adhesive ribbon that someone gave me, I think. I don't even remember. I think I was helping someone plan a baby shower. And because all of these have, you know, like this, this one has, it's a girl. And then there's these little bunny rabbits and buttons and congratulations. On them so I'm thinking that I might use some of these um, actually I'm thinking about the um, the one that looks like a measuring tape because I'm also going to be doing some stitching like I said on the sewing machine so that should be interesting so I am going to be using just a manila folder uh, my husband has a ton of these in his office <laughs> so I'm just going to bum from him I only need one to make one book so um, I don't think he'll miss, he, he will miss this, so I'm going to go and do some measurements, and then I will be back. Hello, and welcome back. It is almost 4.15, and I am going to show you what I've done so far. Nothing is actually completed and finished, so what you're about to see, everything is just lightly tacked down um, with painter's tape underneath it just to sort of help me with placement. Um, so I've put on a back piece and a front piece with maybe, and I, these may change, I don't know right now. Um, and then on the inside, I took those large sheets and I cut them down to um, the size that I needed. And again, I'll put all the measurements and everything on 
the uh, Ning site. So I cut down the paper and I've just sort of lightly, loosely planned out where everything will go in the book. Um, I just want to show you what I did do though off camera. I took those tags that I mentioned, the ones from Studio 112 that I got for 50 cent at Joann's and it's actually like a sheet, it's like a pack of 24 of them so there's lots of different options. Okay, so the pads um, are, have 24 in a sheet, in a pack. So, I just took those, the ones that I decided to use, and I just sort of glued, I glued them onto the craft tag that I had, and I put some hemp thread as the little tag holder. So I did that to um, two of them, these two. Or that. So I'm probably going to distress the edges. I'll probably distress the back of these so it's not such a uh, bright color. But my goal is to use these for journaling, um, to journal on the fronts and backs of them, the things that I'm feeling grateful for, particularly today. Um, and I might leave some of them blank to come back to this book and journal throughout my throughout the year because the whole inspiration for this book was just this idea of being able to um, be grateful all, all year long, not just Thanksgiving time. So, um, yeah, so I have that. Then I have these other tags that are literally just scrap paper from the book that I did a few weeks ago called Her Story. I, I had to sample some colors before I actually put it in the book. And so these are the scrap papers from that. I just cut them down to size. This one I put... Um, this one I put on the back of just some cardstock that I thought fit the color scheme that I'm working with. Um, this one is on the back of one of the craft colored tags. And then I took one of the, uh, one, the black ones are actually much thicker than all the others. So the black one, I thought it would be really neat to journal on this using like a gold pen. Um, so I, I'm going to leave this all black on both sides so that I can journal on it. Then I made these really big um, tags. I haven't put anything on them yet. I'm debating about what I'm going to do with them. So they're really big and they're made out of watercolor paper. So that if I decide I want to do something like art journaling on them or some sort of mixed media that I would um, be able to use these for that because they're watercolor paper. So I did that for two of them. This one I haven't rounded corners or done anything to yet, but it's holding its place. Um, so basically that's where I am right now. I've sort of planned out where I think the pages are going to go. Um, so now I just need to go off camera and actually do the part that is making me most nervous, the idea of sewing onto this. Uh, we'll see. I'm, I'm going to give it a try, see if I'm able to do it without too much muss or fuss. If not, then I'm going to think of some other alternative. But I am going to give it a try because, I, again, I was inspired by the books that I saw on the video alert from Cloth Paper Scissors. And theirs were sewn. And I think that that is what actually drew me to them. And I just thought that they were beautifully done um, using that stitching. So I'm going to give it a try, see what happens, and I will be back. Um, I think, oh, I, the other thing, I have some washi tapes that I'm going to use um, to do some borders and trims. And then I also have um, just some, you know, things that I may add to, to embellish. Um, I'm definitely going to use these sort of copper metal pieces that say Inspire and Hope. They're going to be probably on the cover somewhere. So I will be off camera and then I'll um, check back in in a minute. Thanks. Okay, so I just, before I go sew anything, I wanted to um, just get on video <laughs> uh, where I am in the process right now because I actually am feeling so good about the book. Um, 
you know how you have a moment where you think this is not going to work out the way I want well I was having that moment and then I started sort of putting the book together and it is yeah it shocked me it's coming along really well so just the time check it's five almost 520 and I am quite happy with where we are right now um, so this is the front cover I haven't put the other little piece that I think I'm going to put I, I don't know about that yet because it I was thinking that this really um, gives a, a sort of I don't know preview because that same paper is there when you come in so I don't know I'm still thinking about it I may or may not use that there um, but I have I've, I've put all the pieces in they're they're now actually glued down one thing I did is um, I distressed the entire folder before I started putting the pieces down just so that the edges wouldn't be so um, obviously manila colored so I did do that um, I, I did both sides um, this is where I'm going to put some glue so that the book has one center page um, so yeah I'm actually quite pleased with where this is going so now I'm going to go and see if I can stitch using the sewing machine I'll be back <laughs> So it's 6.51 p.m. and all the sewing is done, for this part of it anyway. But I have to just say, <laughs> so I don't know if I've, I said this in the beginning, but I, this is my, I've never sewn anything before. So it was a bit of a risk, which is why I was so nervous about sewing. Um, so yeah, I'm actually not sure how I feel about how it turned out. I'm, I'm happy with most of it. I think there are some parts where I didn't quite know what I was doing so it went off kilter there but I, I think I have a remedy for that. Um, otherwise I do really I, I really enjoyed sewing onto the paper which I didn't think I would but it was absolutely um, kind of amazing so I, I probably will be doing that again at some point. Um, okay, so I just wanted to check in before I start doing the other parts of the book and finalize. I'm going to glue these two together. Um, I'm going to put a spine on it using, I have a piece that I created for a spine. Oh. Using this piece that I distressed and put some uh, homemade glimmery, shimmery type uh, spray ink on. So that's going to be... Um, Oh, the other way. This is going to be the spine, and I might sew something onto the spine. I'm not sure yet. So that's where we are. I just wanted to check in and show you the stitching. I don't know if you can really see it very well, but again, I, I enjoyed this idea of stitching onto paper. I will be doing more of this. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> has been an interesting experience and I have to say that um, I didn't get to film a lot of the process just because again I'm filming from an iPad today um, I don't have my um, the camera that I have been using so I kind of had to um, do a lot of stuff off camera but I'm going to walk you through what I did and show you the result um, and also the time it's only 1130 and I'm done um, and I'm excited about that because I've been staying up way too late on Thursdays doing this. Um, so yeah, let's take a look. So I decided to, um, I think I talked earlier in the video about the fact that the papers I was selecting really made me think about giving thanks and abundance 
And so that's kind of the, the direction that I went in. Um, so I'm very, actually I'm really happy with this book. Um, so let's just, I'll just show you what we've got. So I've decided to go with the title Gratitude 365 because again, I feel like it's about, uh, the book is designed to remind me that I can give thanks and be grateful for things 365 days of the year. It's not about um, waiting until Thanksgiving to be thankful and to be grateful. So um, I was going to name the book or title the book uh, Gratitude Cannot Be Measured. And that's where the measuring tape comes in. But I'm probably going to journal a little bit about that um, on the inside at some point. So it is designed to be a blank book for me to write in and um, add to throughout the year because that's the whole point, 365. Um, so, yeah, inside. So I have lots of little tags and inserts and lots of space to add additional tags if I want throughout the year um, to continue adding to my ability to give thanks or to, to journal about what I'm thankful for. So I have a lot of um, options for that. So I'll just show some of the detail of each of these. So I used um, different pattern papers in the back and on the fold up pockets. And then I also used um, washi tape throughout. This is like a, an edging, a, a border edge from some scrap that I had. Um, this actually looks like stitching, but this is actually a rub-on. It's a really great, um, it's a Studio 112 product. And again, I got it from Joann's, but it's great. I mean, there is actual stitching in here, but then I thought, oh, well, this would be a neat way to bring in the idea of stitching without having to stitch on these pockets. So, um, and then I just stamped with uh, rubber rubber stamps the word thankful. And these pockets have a little glimmer spray on them to sort of mimic the glimmer spray that was on this one. Then in this pocket, I have um, I was able to incorporate the word <laughs> that little metal. Um, embellishment inspire and two tags in this one one is black and again this is um, rub-ons it's not an act it's not actually stitched but it is designed to mimic stitching this one is just the tag for journaling and it does actually have stitching so this is actually stitching on here and then I just followed through with some of the uh, washi tape from the front I just sort of um, brought that into the inside a little bit to be a little more coordinated. Same here, a little, little piece of washi tape here. Um, actually, this feels like the first one to journal on just because it's black and I can write in some metallic shimmery color, which I'm excited about. Um, I, I really enjoyed this spread. I think this is a great spread. Again, it's corn, but it totally reminds me of pomegranate seeds, so um, which are a sign of fertility and abundance. And so anyway, I thought that was appropriate. Then the next spread, again, more more another uh, envelope. This one has the word gratitude stamped on it. And this tag was actually the first tag. So I'm, I have to say that I didn't know how to sew. I've never sewn before. Um, I definitely have never sewn on paper. So my mother is here um, visiting and she gave me like a 20 minute, here's how you sew <laughs> demonstration and tutorial. Um, so thank you mother for that. Um, it was It was actually really, really cool to watch her um, in her element so she did one of the stitches on this because it was just sort of laying next to the sewing machine and she didn't know I intended it intended to use it and I was like oh it's fine I, li I like that let's do it so then I came in and added a line of stitching and so yeah I'm really I like the way it turned out it's really great um, I have a little saying here it says simple pleasures are priceless treasures and that was just a sticker that I had again from the scrapbooking day. So this is totally an upcycle book, right? I'm upcycling all of my scrapbooking materials to make 
this sort of gratitude journal that I'm able to um, use throughout the year for, for journaling and adding to. Again, some of those rub-on stickers that look like stitching. I liked how this was almost like a little dress shape. The shape of it is has that sort of shape. Uh, another tag that I actually use the sewing machine to do stitching on. Then in this last pocket, this is my favorite um, one because I made it look like a sheet of paper. I just used some, a sepia micron um, pen to draw these lines and then I thought, oh, I can add a line going down the side to look like a loose leaf sheet of paper. I didn't punch, punch any holes in it, but I like it this way. So that's, I'm, I'm excited to get to write on that. And then this is just another tag. Now this one was a mistake tag because I got overzealous and I started sewing and I didn't realize that there was no thread, the thread in the needle had come out. So it's actually just holes. But then when I took it out of the sewing machine, I was like, oh, I actually really like that look. So I kept it. Um, so a happy one, a happy mistake. <laughs> uh, and then the last little tag just has um, again some rub-on and some shimmer mist on it. And then here's the the colophon for this book. And the leaves again are a symbol of of abundance in my mind and harvest. And then the little tab has the word creativity because I'm completely thankful and grateful for the ability to create, the time to create, um, the energy to create, the desire to create, all of that. I'm very thankful for it. So I wanted to make sure creativity appeared on there. A lot of times we forget to be thankful for, for our creativity. So that is the inside of the book. And I, like I said, there's space, you know, in each of these so that I can add, you know, if I want to just keep adding to them, I can throughout the year. And then on the back of the tab, I put thanks there. And then the, the washi tape with the measuring, um, it looks like measuring tape. It is followed through on the back again with the, with the piece of paper that actually inspired the entire book. This sheet of paper that had the, um... Let me see if I can find one that is whole. So it looks like this one. Um, not the other. There were two. One that was a little um, sort of blurred out, and one that was really abundantly colorful. And that's the one I used. But this is basically the sheet that inspired the book because this made me think of giving thank Thanksgiving, which made me think of giving thanks which made me think of, you know, abundance and harvest. And so this this last page was the page that inspired the book. And I put it on the back because I thought, you know, as I'm flipping through it and I end, it's like that reminder um, of how it all came to be. So, Gratitude 365. I am excited about this book. Actually, I'm so excited about this book that I have already pulled papers and materials to make a second one when I come back from my travels. I'm going to um, I'm going to create one that has a travel um, theme. So I ha again, I have all this scrapbooking stuff that I have to do something with. <laughs> so it will I think this that will be um, helpful to use stickers and things that I have so I think I could do a lot with another book so that is going to be something that I work on when I return home I just want to flip through this and show you I pulled a bunch of maps of places I want to go places I've been um, places I'm hoping and planning to visit soon, very soon. So yeah, that's going to be the next the next one of these little journals will be for travel. Because I had these papers and I thought that would be a great idea. So um, once I create that one, I'll probably show it. I might even make two and one will be a giveaway. We'll see. Um, 
Okay, so I'm excited that it is not 2 in the morning, so I am going to go and um, spend a little bit of time with my family. <laughs> and I will blog about the book. I will show pic I'll, um, make sure there are some photos up for folks to take a look at. And I will try, I'll make sure I put the links for, for the um, cloth, paper, scissors video that I watched that reminded me about this particular structure. Um, I think they're just calling it file folder, but I mean it's basically an accordion with pockets, um, which is very similar to the Urbanite book that I made. But I thought it would be really interesting and wonderful to do a book that was um, an upcycle. So using materials that I just have laying around, um, like the file folder, and then all of the scrapbooking papers and tags and hemp thread that I have uh, in my stash. So. I hope that um, this has inspired something in you, even if it's not creating a book. Maybe it has inspired you to revisit what you're grateful for and, you know, maybe journal or think about what you're grateful for. And I hope to see you over at the Ning site where we are doing some amazing things. We have a new journal swap going on over there, so it doesn't start until May 15th. If you're interested in doing a journal swap, you might want to... Um, get signed up, come on over, and join us for the fun. Okay, again, this is Kyla Givehan coming at you for Book in a Day, book number eight, Gratitude 365. I'll see you over at the Ning site or on the blog. Have a great week.